Hello, everybody. I'm meteorologist Chuck Bell, filling in for the lovely and talented Sheena Parveen, who's got the day off today. I'm happy to get to take place in one of her great causes that she appreciates here at the station. That is uh, helping to clear the uh, animals out of the shelters. This is Alexandra Dilley from the Humane Rescue Alliance here in Washington. She has brought in a friend of hers today, and there's a lot of very important information uh, because at this time of the year, especially this weekend and next week in particular, with the 4th of July coming, pets and fireworks. They are known to be not all that good together so we're going to help give you some hints on how you can help keep your pets safe and secure essentially right. during uh, during the fourth of july holiday so welcome thank you thanks and who have you brought with us today this is remy she's a two-year-old dog at our shelter okay. and she was surrendered because her owner was moving and couldn't take her with him and she's really sweet um she loves people she's super friendly she gave me the big greeting when i came in yeah. today so she's going to make a great <laughs> pet super friendly came right up to me no problem at all and yeah. immediately rolled over on her belly, wanted a belly rub, right. so cute as can be. Uh, for 4th of July, though, I mean, because I have two dogs of my own, and neither one of them really care for the bang of fireworks right. all that much. One much cares for it a lot less than the other. They usually just spend, you know, 4th of July fireworks time. We turn the radio up real loud in our house Smart. when we go out to go to watch the fireworks. Yeah. But even when we come back, you can tell. Lucas is just sitting there kind of shaking under what's all been going on. Right. So give us some of the, the things that you can do to help ease the stress on your pets this time of year. Sure. Well, definitely keep them indoors. They can bolt out of your fences. And when they, some, a lot of them panic. So even if you think they're secure behind the fence, they, they may dig under it or even go out of screens, break through screens. So you really want to keep them in the middle of your house, somewhere that where the noise is the least. Um, and I would give them like a closet or some area to hide in where they can have a Kong stuffed with some chicken and a comfy bed and maybe a noise canceling machine on. Um, and just make sure that they're as secure and in, and in the most inner part of your house as possible. You can also get the medication. A lot of dogs have thunder phobia. Okay. And so uh, asking your vet for medication a few days before and definitely before the fireworks start right. is a good idea. It's a lot easier to help a dog prior to the start of the event than like in the middle of the fireworks. Is there any way to uh, get your dog used to fireworks? I mean, I, it's kind of a strange thing, but I, I, not all of my dogs have been afraid of fireworks. Yeah. I have my old dogs in the past. Didn't bother them whatsoever. Yeah. Now, you know, Lucas is a little bit more affected than my other dog, Isa, my running buddy. She just doesn't really care one right. way or the other. I mean, you generally want to be careful of overexposing them to loud noises because uh, noise sensitivity is actually genetic, although it can take a few exposures to show up. Okay. So you don't really know if your dog has that <laughs> until they start showing it. Okay. So I would, you know, definitely you can give them treats um, right after they hear the fireworks or while after the fireworks have started, but you don't want to, um, you, I wouldn't overexpose them to that because it okay. will probably sensitize them. And so my dogs are crate trained, and so, you know, they've got a blanket that I drape over it and stuff like that. So that's probably if they're already crate trained, that's probably the best place for them because they right. can have the door closed. It's their personal safe space. Yes, their safe space is where you want to put them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and coming up, obviously, we're happy to have you guys uh, adopt out Remy or any other dogs at the Humane Rescue Alliance here. You have your two locations. One is on New York Avenue and the other one is on Oglethorpe Street, you right. said? Yes. Uh, both of them in Washington, D.C. So they're both available pets at any time. Yeah. But of course, Comcast and NBC4, proud sponsors of the Clear the Shelters campaign. And the big push this year will be in August on August the 19th. And if you're interested in adopting a pet, we have resources on the NBC Washington app that you can look that up or you can go to our NBCWashington.com website. So thank you very much for coming in today. Yeah, my, my dog Pepito freaks out over the fireworks. the fireworks. Yeah, we always got to get him in the corner and by, in his bed. Get him bed. some good snacks this that, year. That's right, we will. Uh, look,